Good morning, Bellows Falls and Keene and Rockingham. And welcome to The Feed. It's Mike and Marty. Today we're joined by Jennifer Tolero Heidbrink. We're going to be talking about Parks Place and what's happening at Parks Place. Um, sure signs of spring. Frost tonight. Frost tonight. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. then uh, Pete's stand is opening tomorrow. So yes. Some bad and some good. So it's great. Bad and some good. I know. Hopefully, uh, Pete's will be covering their vegetables. Yeah, no, that's going to be because that would not be good if you're yeah. trying to open with a bunch of vegetables and then your crops get frosted. Right. <laughs> you're not expecting uh, it. So local events. Are local party. events. So at the Bell's Falls Opera House, it is week three of Guardians of the Galaxy three. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is your last chance. It's to very see it. good. I saw it. I the music is amazing. And Mike gives it a. I give it a five thumbs up. Five oh, thumbs wow. up. Awesome. <laughs> Greater so there you have it from from um, movie, movie, movie reviews here on the feed. The classic movie is American Graffiti, which is six thumbs up. Six, <laughs> I know, and I have to admit, I've never movie. seen it, but it would be cool to see it on the big screen. And um, I just want to read because the the sponsors have a little quote, and it says, "In celebration of classic cars, good music, and burger joints." Dedicated to our favorite hot rodders, Brian and Scott, is from Ken and Sharon Finch. Oh, oh, so it's nice. nice that it's nice to see some new names coming up for sponsors of the classic movie because we keep pushing that it's available to do. And Jen can second that because that's Absolutely. your other half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Jen told us something else just a yeah. couple minutes ago that if you want, you can actually rent the theater out um, for family events or Absolutely. private events or business events mm -hmm. and you can do it like Saturday morning or Sunday morning or mm -hmm. Thursday evening yep. and what, what a great way to yeah. have like a birthday party. I, I know a uh, cute wonderful little uh, five-year-old one time had a grand old time at the theater. We uh, had pizza and cake and then you Pick your movie, and yeah. she picked Encanto, and it was great. The kids were dancing and oh, singing, so and great. so it's a wonderful time. So yeah. I highly recommend. That is seven thumbs up. Yeah. So okay. There we go. Now, <laughs> we're, okay. now we, we don't know I if we can top that. Inflation. <laughs> inflation. Um, May 19th, which is this Friday, is the first of the Next Stage Summer Bandwagon Series. Um, we had the folks from Next Stage on a few weeks ago. We're talking about the Summer Bandwagon Series. It is going to be at Cooper Field, which is 41 Sand Hill Road, and it's Underground System. So if you go to nextstagearts.com, you would find their, you would find tickets and more information about the band. I think they usually have like a little blurb about the band. And then... Make sure you're saving your calendars for June 10th. It's the Bells Falls Festival. So we have finally got the full lineup. We are starting out with the Ben Jennings Quartet. We're then going on to the Gaslight Tinkers. We're then, I can't read it from here. <laughs> I think it's blue. Oh, no. Then, then it's um, oh, 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 Milk House Heaters. And then Blue Moon. And Keen Pride is in there. And we are having the mammals and finishing the music portion of it with Sarah Borges. And then a very special presentation from the Wild Goose Players, which are the co-sponsors with the Rotary. Um, Going to be a full day of music, a full day of food and adult beverages Great. and beverages for everyone provided yes. by Parks Place selling lemonade, cookies from the Women's Club. They're coming and baking, have, bringing their baked goods. So a really, a really family friendly fun festival event and david is actually coming on in, in a couple weeks i think to give us even more even more of a a more yeah, in-depth look okay so that's that's Great. my local events so parks place busy for the summer huh yes Jeez. we are very busy thank you so much for having me i'm so excited to be able to share all these amazing events that we're having um so I'm going to start with our playgroup. So we have a weekly playgroup at the library right now. Um, it may change to outdoors once we get, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit warmer, consistently warmer. But right now it's at the library at, I believe, 1030 to noon. Um, so it's up on the screen. Uh, but please come. Uh, it's really geared towards uh, zero to five-year-olds. Um, we have snacks. We play. We have a huge parachute that we use. Oh, 
you're welcome to come to. Like. So, <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> please, please, please. You know, it's so much fun, even for adults. So, um, yeah, and you get to build relationships with the rest of the community, meet other kiddos that might be going to school with your kiddos. So, wonderful. We've been having such a great time. Great. Is it a, is it a good way, like... Um, especially coming out of COVID, for kids to really get that socialization that they absolutely. need before school. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. Um, you know, I think that's, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and we've, you know, we've we've had a lot of people, too, um, wanting to come and learn about the local events, learn about local resources. Mm -hmm. So it's a good place as well. So is, it, is this something new or is it something you've been doing for a while? This is something that we started a couple of months ago. Um, it started in March. Okay, so it's mm -hmm. fairly new. Yeah, yeah. And so we've just been adding more families as we go. Nice. So it's great. Yep. Excuse so me. Uh, what else is happening? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's let's move on. So many fun things. Um, we have our diaper drive that's happening right now through the month of May, um, and basically it's it's a it's a little competition. Oh. We don't really talk about it, but between um, Parks Place and Chroma and Edward Jones. So um, we're working on who can collect the most diapers for the month oh. of May. So. You know we're doing we're you know we're doing okay, but we could definitely use more donations. Mm -hmm. We also mm -hmm. accept wipes. I am um, totally gonna let, leave that one alone. That my husband's business is doing a, is is into diapers because I'm just <laughs> oh I'm just, yes I'm just not gonna go. Well, there, I was thinking but. that Chroma might have an unfair advantage. Is they're very big. That's a big yes. company. Mm -hmm. Well, Marty, like I, Bill, I, he has tenacity. He does. He does. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, and he has actually he has all the diapers in his window. <laughs> yeah, nice. that's a great display, by the way. Did you did you guys set that up? We didn't. Chroma did actually. Oh. Yeah, big thank you to them. I mean, they they had like, very hard. Every I was year. like, somebody really engineered that. They have like a little spinning diaper <laughs> thing on the top. Oh, nice. It wasn't just stacking. It it's really it's, yes. it's funny. It's very cool. Every year they do something wonderful. So I would have loved to take credit for that, but I <laughs> I can't. Um, and Marty, I expect that your donations will be, you know, coming to Parks Place. Of course. You know, right. Oh, of yes. course. Okay. My well, husband's you know. on his own. I, right. Exactly. You know, he, he, he talk said. a little bit about the, the, the need, like, mm. like, as I think, I think that a lot of people think diapers, Sure. like you sometimes forget if you haven't been there, mm -hmm. um, that that's kind of, they're expensive. Oh, you go through a lot. Yes. And um, it's one of those things that just, yeah. So I, I Abs talk, talk absolutely, to the Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So as we know, babies are very cute and very yes. cuddly. Um, but yes, they, you know, there is a huge need for diapers, all the way from newborn up to pull-ups, um, we accept. But we have seen a big increase this year of people coming in needing diapers mm -hmm. for many different reasons. Um, you know, as we know, people do receive benefits, but sometimes those benefits just aren't enough to cover diapers um, when you have to decide, you know, what you yeah. what you spend, what you spend that spend money, money on. exactly. And so we're there, you know, you can come in, no questions asked, um, ask for any size. You know, we try to carry a variety of sizes. Right now we have a ton of newborn through size three, so if you, any, if you know any, of anybody um please send them our way Sounds but yes good. yeah the need is really getting to the bottom of the problem mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> oh yeah uh, we could yeah. go on all day but we'll <laughs> love move it. on we'll move love on. it love it um so i just want to quickly share i think it's on the uh flyer but the drop-off locations so coda and coda um sonex uh the rockingham free public library um all of your local elementary schools uh mm -hmm. they've offered to collect diapers for us so thank you yes. and also face toyota ford um, down in Westminster. So you can drop off That's your diapers, great. wipes, um, at any of those locations. And then last, but certainly not least, um, we have our Little Ones and Loved Ones fundraising gala coming up. Uh, that will be June 3rd from 7 to 9. Um, tickets are for sale right now at Parks Place. It's $25 for a couple or $5 per child or $10 for adults. So this, this dance is for anybody um, who might have a little in their life. So if you're a grandparent, a aunt, uncle, close relative, close friend, guardian, whoever just 
Come, come on in, bring your your loved one and your little one, um, and dance the night away. So we have a DJ coming, we have snacks, we've got swag bags, uh, <laughs> and Christy Lisi is going to be there taking professional photos. So oh, you'll yes, also get a professional perfect. photo yes. of you and your, your yes, you and your loved one to ah. take with you. So, so this is like this is kind of a bigger take on what, which was hugely popular, and I think still is. Um, I don't know if they still have it though. The Elks used to do the father daughter dance. Yes, correct. Yeah. So this is a bigger an expansion of it, and yes. it, I I know that when my nieces were little, they loved you know right up through, and they still would go yep. with their dad. So it's nice that it's expanded, and it's something mm -hmm. that um, are you hoping to build it into a traditional thing? Yeah, that's that's the hope. That's the hope. Um, yeah, and same thing. My husband used to take our daughters to one in Walpole, mm -hmm. and they had such a great time. They would pick out these beautiful dresses, and mm -hmm. um, they would get flowers. So you know, it it's it, it's a cute thing, and mm -hmm. we definitely wanted to expand it to anybody. So grandparents, like I said, grandparents, aunts, right. uncles, everybody has a, a little one or a loved one in their life. Yeah, because so we're bring them we're in. we're living in in more of a society of maybe there isn't a traditional right. Like father, daughter, mom, whatever. So you being, Absolutely. so it doesn't it matter, right? Nice. Mm -hmm. Just your loved one. Yep. And it's at the moose, right? It is yeah. at the moose. So there'll yep. be plenty of room to dance. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's as a parent, so just seven to nine. So the expectation is they will fall asleep in the car and you can nicely put them in their bed at night. And, you know, that's, that's the end of the day. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that's what I'm hoping yeah. for. <laughs> And you have, it's like you have some sponsors. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, we do. Um, uh, I, so we would we would like to thank M&T Bank. So they're sponsoring us, the Moose, and um, Savings Bank of Walpole. So wow, they've all contributed. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, it's June, so Saturday, June 3rd. So Saturday, June 3rd. Right Which up. is yeah. only uh, two weeks yeah, it's away. It's not that far away. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah. it's something. It's, we're coming up to this time of year when... Everything happens. Everything yes. happens, and it happens so fast. Yeah. So it's people should be thinking about this right now. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. My girls have picked out their dresses. Oh, They've had really? them picked out for the past couple of months. So <laughs> you know, we formal formal wear is not required, but you know, if you'd like to, yeah, dress you know, up, dress yeah. up, and look fancy, and you know, oh, nice. we invite that as well. That's cool. So yeah, was that your concept? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, that's a little bit of. Um, Starting out at Parks Place, I, um, you know, I my v my vision is that we uh, hopefully um, target younger families. That's uh -huh. kind of my goal. Um, uh, my office manager and, and myself, we went to a training and they talked about how um, your local um, nonprofit can um, help find resources and help with gearing kids and working with families uh, with little children. So looking at like crib to career so how do we help support yeah, that yeah, child yeah. Mm -hmm. um from from crib to career and and i really felt like parks place is already doing this so you know with me starting i'm really hoping to build that up That's how, in, great. how important is that earlier intervention Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's, you know, that right there is where we build resiliency. We build coping mm -hmm. skills. We build all of those skills right there. How do we help support parents so they can support their children? So, I mean, it's, it's vital. It's vital that we help intervene at that time. So, so. speaking of supporting children and supporting parents, you, you just... Um, you canceled them, but I want you to talk about them anyway, the family oh, dinners. And yes, the, yeah. yes. So unfortunately, we canceled the family dinners, but um, Greater Falls Connections, uh, Sam from the Rockingham Free Public Library, we all came together, and we um, are working on building a moms and dads groups. Mm -hmm. So it would happen every month. We were going to start them this month. However, it seemed like a busy time for families. Yeah. So we're going to hold off and start it in the fall. But really this model is how do we um, bring the resources to the families. So you would sign up, you'd RSVP, and we would pr provide dinner as well as child care. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes we would have a um, craft to do with the, the kids and the families, or we would bring a resource um, to talk about what they could provide, how they could be helpful. Um, and so, it, yeah, it's a, it's a, we would provide some psychoeducation things. So um, 
we used to have a group called Jump. Um, Justice Moms, or uh -huh. it was called Young Moms, and the feedback that we got was that it was it was very helpful. It was very supportive, and we really were hoping to um, mirror that mm -hmm. that model. So, and then and that was but that was just moms, and and you're looking to to, yes. to hit both sides yep. to get the dads too, Absolutely. and they and they're on separate evenings, so they're yes. like dads would be with dad peer groups, and mom would yep. be with mom peer groups, which I would imagine yeah. that's invaluable. This the support, mm -hmm. the peer support. Well, Absolutely. it's sort of like what you were mentioning before is that. Families with families today, both parents work, and then trying to include kids in sports and other mm -hmm. after school activities, your time is just right gone. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, there isn't enough time in the day to be able to do all the mm -hmm. stuff that needs to be done Absolutely. and to maintain a household. So, these sorts of supports can be really mm -hmm. important in helping. Yep. maybe gain mutual support because they tend to get the more you're doing stuff like this the more isolated mm -hmm. you get absolutely and you know one of the big um uh drives i guess of this is is building community and that's right. what parks place does you know we we connect people we build relationships um and that's you know one of our you know our main mission mm -hmm. is to to build that community and so you know we're really hoping to do more outreach do more programs bring more programs in that families need yeah so. and i think if i remember from my days on greater falls connections board connections yes are the opposite like if you have connections, you're less likely to have addictions. Is mm -hmm. that? I, I don't, Absolutely. There's a, there's, that's not the exact saying. I know they had a, a saying, and, and my memory fails me sometimes. Mm -hmm. But um, so that's you know that's mm -hmm. huge and Absolutely. all the way around. And they're one of your tenants, so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And you wanted to do a thank a uh, shout out. Oh yeah. yes. Just, just so before I, I unfortunately didn't start the timer, so, oh, so I don't let know. us know. <laughs> but um, before we, I think we're still good on time. But before we get to to low on time you did want to yes i do i do want to uh send a huge shout out to the thomas thompson trust um they've provided us with a huge grant um so we will be doing redoing our basement we have had water issues um so we'll be redoing our basement and putting in new flooring wow. um yes so it's important that i let everybody know that we will be closed june 26th through the 30th um for the basement and then august 7th through the 11th so it's important to you know come in, get any uh, faxing, printing, scanning, copying that you need done, or if you need diapers, we'll be handing out extra diapers mm -hmm. the week prior to 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 help get through those weeks that we're closed. Okay, nice. yeah. we actually have about seven minutes left. Okay, good, 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 good. Then we can still continue to talk. <laughs> so maybe you might want to talk about some of the things that you you have done. And I don't know if they're ongoing, but you brought in um, a company that gave tablets and phones yes yes so um it was kind of by pure luck mm -hmm. uh this company came in and they said they're from massachusetts and they help connect people who qualify uh, for the free phones and free tablets um and the work that i did prior i tried to help some families uh apply for this and it, it the hoops that you have to jump through were terrible really? and i i think to this day families still didn't receive it and i said yes we need you here how does that happen <laughs> and so they they're like look we're gonna we're just kind of testing the waters in vermont to see if you know this is a resource they came on a wednesday and we i mean the turnout for that i don't even want to guess the number because yeah. i'll probably be way off but the turnout <laughs> was huge um so basically if you qualify there's a there's a couple different um ways that you can qualify uh -huh. um but if you qualify you walk out um with a phone and a tablet um that's covered under um the the services that's uh -huh. covered under the I, I don't exactly remember mm -hmm. um i think it's a grant or it's covid money that's covered under but that's they help, good. yeah. They yeah. help to see if you qualify, and yeah. um, I think everybody who came through the door, except for maybe two or three people, qualified. Wow, so that was really good. Yeah, and again, the need. I mean, how much do we pay for cell phones, and how mm -hmm. often do we need them for safety or for connecting with, mm -hmm. you know, your providers? Mm -hmm. I mean, the technology is huge right now, mm -hmm. and so this, you know, this was just amazing that we yeah, were able to work it out. To bridge that gap is yes. really important. 
Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So we're hoping right now that they come back. They are scheduled to come back. I don't have the exact date, so you'll have to call Parks Place just to um, figure that out. But they are hoping to come back next month. Um, really? Mm hmm. It'll, it will only be for half a day, uh -huh. um, but we're still trying to work out which, yeah. which day. And just, I think we have probably have a slide we can put up, but what's the best way to, con you know, if people want to keep up to date, oh, the Parks Place, oh. Parks Place website. Yep. Yep. The website, you can find us on Facebook um, or give us a call. Good. Yeah, or just come in. Just there come in. Just stop in. And, yeah, we'll put on a pot of coffee. We'll turn <laughs> on some music. We can chit chat. You know, it, you, you can. I'll give you a tour. We have a wonderful kitchen. I think I mentioned that before, but um, come see our wonderful kitchen uh, that a, a donor had given us money to to get new appliances. So nice. yeah, yeah, just come on and in. And the Rotary had I'm done not. some shelving prior. To oh that. yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> The first iteration of the kitchen to get it into more of a kitchen. Yes. We, I don't think we supplied the appliances, but I believe we did do the, mm -hmm. the flooring, I think, in the cabinetry. It was more yeah. your rotary era than, than yeah. mine. Well, yeah. We did the ramp in the back, too. And the ramp in yes. the back. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what are, what are you moving forward? You are a nonprofit. Nonprofits rely on grants, they mm -hmm. rely on donations. Yeah. What are your needs moving forward? Just to mm -hmm. give the community an, a quick snapshot if you. Yeah, I mean, you know, we do accept donations. Um, like I said, the diaper bank, we accept donations, monetary or diapers or wipes. Um, you know, I, I would really love for people to come, in all seriousness, come in and talk to us and yeah. see what we do um, and learn more about us. I need, I really need it, people to learn and share and spread spread the, the word of what we do, um, become ambassadors for Parks Place, because that's, you know, that's that's what we need right now is to get the word out where, you know, we're like with the diaper, the diaper bank and all of these wonderful things for the younger families and the younger kids, you know, our model's changing a little bit. And so we need, you know, we need people to support yeah, us. Right. That's yeah. good. Nice. So I, are we, how are we doing on time? Three okay. minutes, three minutes. <laughs> so last thoughts for the audience. Anything, anything else that you think you wanted to to chat about anything with anything new at the movie theater other than the, making sure that the people do private rentals and um, if somebody wants to sponsor a movie what's the, how do they go about doing that okay if somebody wants to so i would suggest um if you are if you're connected to facebook send us a facebook message um you can also uh call the theater i believe and leave a message there um yeah, but I would say, you know, anybody can email me too. So mm -hmm. that's fine. Email the theater. Mm -hmm. um, and you can contact uh, Charlie Hunter as well. He does he does the okay. um, Wednesday Night Classics too. Great. So. Well, thank you again for coming on. You're always a wealth of information. Oh, uh, thank you for having me. It's been great. Ray of sunshine and here. For all of the energy <laughs> that, you know, all of these yeah. things. Look at all the papers, Jen. All the programs and we are having an awesome time so please anybody wants to come and join us we are you know okay. we have fun what are your hour, <laughs> what hours are you there if people do want to stop in yeah sure we're there? there from eight to four eight to four okay yep. okay thank you and that's it for this week for the feed we'll see you next week thank bye you. community local news politics business sports and more